this is Michelle I am the baby watch del tarot and today I'm coming with your reading just a quick reminder that my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with all of you please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in between you and your person please take what it does resonate and leave out whatever does not and with that said Pisces let's take a look at what the universe has for you okay let's see what we can see for Pisces thank you spirit we got <clears throat> Spirit has left the chat. <clears throat> then we got, you are my forbidden fruit. The more I shouldn't, the more I want it. Let me see. Thank you. We got, oh my God, Pisces. We got, yes, pregnancy. So for whoever is looking for kids, maybe the Pisces season is going to be the one for you. If you're not looking for it for kids at this moment, be careful because I see pregnancy for some of you Pisces, okay? Or for the person that you're with, right? And then we got, no matter how much you want them, remember that they have to want you back. Ooh, one more. Thank you, Spirit. We got, it breaks my heart to know that I hurt you. And at the bottom of the deck, we got, I'll be back for you. And you know and you know that oh my god in this one it says I knew we belong together since the first time I saw you so somebody out there Pisces it could be you it could be your person they feel a strong connection you have a really strong connection with somebody I don't think you guys are together most definitely you guys are on separation but this seems to be like a, some sort of a, a reunion that I'm going to look into it in a minute. But whew, it's it's like somebody. It's like a connection, right? I'm excited because it seems to be like a, a connection that seems to be forbidden. And that could be because you have somebody or your person has somebody or both of you have somebody else, right? But it seems to be that you guys are really connected. And it says, Spirit has left the, the chat. Because I feel like this situation that you are going through has been going on for a while. And maybe some of you are asking for signs, asking for like an answer of some sort. And I feel like you have been getting pretty decent. Not only from me, a lot of other readers too. They are really specific. But if you're not listening to the answers... There's not gonna be a there's not gonna be an end to your problem or situation. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. We got the worth waiting for card. Then we got the very soon. And the worth waiting for says divine timing is at work in your love life. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Separation. I told you, you guys are separated from one another. You and your person or the person on your mind. If you are a cross watcher, the same thing. It says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And then we got, it's safe for you to love. So again, this is a person that you have been dealing with for a while. Again, you have been waiting. You both have been waiting probably in one another. Um... I feel like somebody is hurt here, like afraid of like loving, afraid of like being open, being uh, maybe being genuine with, with your person here. And uh, um, I'm going to look into this situation way more, but I feel like you have been dealing with this person before and you guys haven't got the chance, for some of you guys haven't got the chance to like to date or to like try it out to see if you guys work out or not right so with that said let's take a look what does pisces needs to know about the situation we got the priest yep a spiritual a spiritual connection here then we got the wife let me see a letter somebody's gonna be messaging you pisces or you are going to message somebody servant then we got the sweetheart in reverse and then two more we got we got the widower and cheerfulness sorry i gotta read them they're kind of difficult they're so tiny and then we got the fortune in reverse so 
Okay, Pisces, listen up, okay? Give me a chance, because this seems like a really intense reading here. So we got the what the priest and the wife right here, right? So what I'm seeing here is that you guys are really, really connected to somebody else. This could also mean that either or you are married to somebody, you are in a relationship, like a committed relationship with somebody, or, it's, or you have been with this person for a long while, or the person that is in your mind, right, um, is with somebody else, like in a different, like, in a different, um, I'm trying to put my water there. The, I got so many crystals, people. Okay, there, let me, I'll put it right there. Okay, going back to your reading, um, yes, you are really connected spiritually with somebody else, which like the, the forbidden fruit that we're talking about, but you are most definitely either or married or in a long-term relationship. This could be your person also. You could even have kids with somebody else or your person could have kids. Regardless of the situation, right? Um, this, I feel like, I feel like it could be like your person here. I feel like your person is, it could be a single parent and or regardless of that. But this person seems to be um, in a relationship with somebody, okay? And I feel like you actually miss them. You do miss, you do miss them. And uh, I feel like you've been thinking of this person a lot and or your person might be thinking about you also. But I feel like whoever this person might be, um, you both want to talk to one another. Like, you both want communication. You both would like to... Uh, receive a message from one i'm sorry i got hair in my mouth you will both would like to receive a message right but it's not happening why is it not happening when it's obvious that you guys love or care for one another like there is intense this is like an intense energy magnetic situation here because look at this look at this we got the letter and the serpent right here somebody wants you to message them or you want to be messaged by whoever this person might be. Um, I feel like you guys have been working a lot. Like you are not workaholic only, but you guys have been working a lot. That you guys feel like you guys have no life. Like you feel like just you're just working and that things are not feeling how you wanted them to feel. Like, again, I see a lot of working and not having fun. You know what I'm saying? Like not having enough time to go out with friends or do whatever it is that you would like to do. I see you, Pisces, and maybe your person also, but I feel this is you working really, really like a lot. I also feel like you guys are out of distance, you and your person, that's why there's a letter here, because you guys cannot go and just go ahead and see this person. It has to be through like letters, messages, phone calls or so, but I feel like either or you're gonna receive a message or you're gonna have this sign of like okay it's fine for me to send a message to my person um so we got, then we got the sweetheart and the widow right here right i feel like in reverse i feel like you haven't forgotten about this person and your person hasn't forgotten about you and if you see this lady right here she is holding it could be like a piece of paper right she is waiting on you to text them okay whoever your person might be regardless of gender they are waiting on you to message them okay they're waiting on you and they haven't forgotten about you you just like don't do it because i feel like you think um the situation is over you think you have no chance anymore and that is not it it's in reverse it's telling you that it's not over it is not over you still have a chance because this person still waits on you they're not saying anything regardless of what the reason is but they are still waiting on you this is not over they're waiting on you cheerfulness right here and the reverse um this person and most definitely you you guys are not really happy and if you both are in a situation that you are involved one like each other of you with somebody else is not bringing you the happiness that you guys seek or that you guys will like you're not happy you're most definitely not happy in your relationship and they're most definitely not happy in their relationship either it's like so silly at the same time because you guys are missing one another but nobody's doing anything how does pisces person views pisces 
We got the waiting in reverse. You see, they're still waiting on you. We got the journey in reverse. Yeah, they're still waiting on you and they just don't get why you haven't reached out or why you haven't like make a move on some sort. But they're like going like, dang, why is it, is it like Pisces is not doing anything? Like how long is gonna take Pisces to like communicate with me, you know? Then we got the sweetheart in reverse. Yeah, they're still waiting on you. They're not telling you anything. And a lot of people are going to say like, hey, well, if they love you, they should do this. Like, love is complicated, people. You know, people are complicated too. So the reason is, this is the reason. I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm just giving you a message here. But they're still waiting on you. And they're just asking themselves like, why is it so like, why does Pisces take so freaking long to come back to me? Like, we thought we're like here, like, the widow right here again it's not over it is not over they still have they still have feelings for you joyfulness right here in reverse there could be a third party situation but it's like you don't have competition we got sorrow right here and then we got child right here in the reverse um and love in reverse at the bottom of the deck so most definitely like i told you like this per i i hear this quiet like drastically your person okay Pisces your person was waiting for you to reach out in February like last month the 14th okay they were waiting for you to reach out back in Valentine's Day and you didn't okay I feel like you maybe had that day like that like idea of like should I reach out they wanted you to reach out they were hoping for a message or something and you didn't do that Pisces but just so you know this person was waiting on you to text them back in Valentine's Day, okay? Going back to the reading, okay? We got the uh, waiting in reverse in the journey right here. Your person has not, hasn't stopped waiting for you. I don't care if you believe it or not, this is the message. Your, pers your person still waits on you, okay? They're still waiting on you, and they're trying to give you your space because they know because with the journey right here, again, this feels like a long term, like not long term, but that could be too. But it, it feels like a long distance relationship here, okay? You guys are most definitely physically far away from one another, okay? And your person is looking at, like out, like to the, like wondering, like how does Pisces? I wonder how Pisces is doing. I wonder when Pisces is coming back. You know, I see a lot of questions. I see a lot of wondering, like why Pisces is doing not doing this? Why? 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 But again, I feel like you are thinking about maybe some like i don't know maybe coming back to town or maybe to reach out to them but i feel like you doubt that your person might be waiting on you but just so you know your person still waits on you okay they're still waiting on you with the sweetheart and the widow right here i'm telling you right here this person has not lost any feelings for you this person does care for you. This person still waits on you because you are, you guys are like each other's sweethearts. You know, it's like that crush that you have, let's say you had in high school, but 10 times bigger. Like, it's like, yeah, you like them. I feel like you both are really attracted to one another physically, but you also have a lot of feelings for one another. It's like, you guys are, I feel like this was just bad timing for you to like get together, but I don't see this being over and people be like oh it's over the next person said it's over but it's not like that it's just like the situation like outside factors are pretty much uh, affecting this connection to evolve how it should okay that's why um, your person and you don't feel happy that's why your per your person and you don't feel like that fulfillment because it was bad timing and outside factors that actually put a big pause to this connection but it's not over until you both say it's over from the bottom of your heart if that's what you want but again I don't see that I don't see this being the situation you don't want this to be over they don't want this to be over either they could be a third party situation but whoever like even if you are in a relationship and or your person neither of you are happy or completely happy it's just like you're trying to find love you're trying to find happiness and joyfulness 
with whoever you're with but it does not bring you that okay it's just like you go like well because you both are thinking thinking that this is over you go like well you know it's over just might as well just get what i can right but i'm telling you you guys are not happy with whoever you're with and your person it's not either with sorrow right here and child right here your person is not really happy. Your person is really, really sad. And your person thinks that you did not want it. I mean, like, I got two different stories. Your person feels that you played them, right? Your person feels really, really sad. And I'm not saying that they have a reason to feel that way, right? But people will feel however they want to feel, right? So with that said, your person feels really, really sad. Your person is, like, about to give up, like, saying, like, Pisces is never going to come around or Pisces never liked me or Pisces never cared for me. And that is like, it's like a grieving stage kind of situation, right? And your person also thinks, because for some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody who had kids, right? So your person also is feeling that you walked away or that you don't want things with them because they have a kid, right? And they feel really, really sad about not having the kid, but they're sad about thinking that you did not want them just because they have a kid because i see like this person works a lot for their kids this person seems to be really responsible and this person seems to be a loving parent right but they also feel a little bit bummed out because they think in the back of their head that you did not want to commit or you or that you didn't take them seriously because they were like single parents or because you thought it was too much responsibility that if you were to say something like that to them um that was something that did hurt them a lot but if you didn't say anything, it's just like how they actually thought. They think that that is one of the reasons or it could be one of the reasons of why you didn't want to commit to them. Let's see. Hmm, okay. Let's see. How does Pisces feel towards this person? Freedom money in reverse we got surprise okay okay priest young woman okay love in reverse okay and i'm just doing this because i have a lot of people say like oh no i don't feel like that okay the cards are saying that look at the back of, at the bottom of the deck love you did fall in love with this person. You did have feelings for this person, okay? And I feel, again, that you wanted to text them back in Valentine's Day, but you backed down. You felt scared, okay? Or you were waiting for some sort of communication. And here, you both were waiting for the same thing, Jesus. So we got the freedom and the butterfly right here. We got the money here, okay? So I feel like you felt like this person was really beautiful. You felt like this person was beautiful and unique. Okay? When you saw them first. When you, like, when you saw them. <laughs> but here, it's like, I feel like you were not maybe on the right place when it comes to money. Or that's how you felt. That you were working a lot in your money, in your career, in your, like, future. And that's why um, maybe um, you did not work things through with this person. Or maybe that's why things did not work how they were supposed to work. I feel like this person, when you met this person here, uh, your, how you felt towards them and how things developed was kind of like, it took you by surprise and you were not uh, ready and prepared for this. It's like, it was too much for you. Like, again, I don't feel that you were prepared for um, to meet this person. You were not prepared of um, understanding how this person made you feel. Like, it was too much and you were like i cannot take the like i don't know what go what's going on it's like a, a first time situation here with the priest and young woman right here um again you most definitely were with somebody else at that time and it was something that i don't know maybe your family expected you to or again you guys were together for a while it was a long-term relationship i it could have been like not this person, whoever you were with when you met this person. What seemed to be like, again, like a marriage or a long-term relationship. Um, you were also, you like, this actually couldn't work the way it worked because you were with somebody else. And uh, that put a lot of, like, dent into it. Just one more. I feel like I need one more. No, that's two. 
too many. Please, Spirit, one more. Thank you, Spirit. And then we got the friend right here, okay? Oh, my God. Yeah. So you were with this person right here, the young woman here, and then friend. So this person shows up in your life, and it's like you feel... So like that she's so beautiful, he's so beautiful, and you're like, oh my God, what's going on? And it actually caught you by surprise if you were not expecting this. Yep, look up at the bottom, sweetheart, right here. Like, you could, like, oh my God, you were not prepared for this. <laughs> you were not prepared for this. It, it was too much, and you felt, like, afraid, like, confused, and you just, like, shut down. Like, you, like, shut everything down because it was too much to take in and I see why you did the things that you did because it was too much and you were not ready and prepared for that it felt like like a shock like you were shocked like when you saw this person like oh my god who is this person you know so what is the outcome what is the outcome between Pisces and this person please We got faithfulness. Again, you both are waiting for one another. Wedding. Servant. Okay. This relationship or this connection has a lot, a lot of freaking um, potential here. We got money in reverse. We got the merchant right here. We got the friend in reverse. And we got the room. Constancy right here at the bottom. Okay, you know, and I also see gift in reverse. Um, either or, I don't know if this surrounding somebody's birthday or birthday month or something. But I feel like you are expecting like some sort of communication or some sort of like situation as like a birthday gift or it's something that you've been like thinking about at the bottom of your head it's like I'm gonna like treat myself and I'm going to communicate with my person or or something like that or you maybe are thinking of giving something to your person you know um eventually when you guys get together um but regardless of that it says right here for uh, faithfulness and wedding right here okay you both are vigilant okay you guys um i feel like this person is watching your social media and i feel you're doing the same thing okay you both are acting pretty alike but you both are acting really proud and really silent because it's like they don't like it's like you feel like like your person does not want this you know or want this enough and your person is thinking the same thing about you. But look at this right here, wedding. Um, I feel like this connection has a like a gigantic possibility of you guys getting married, okay? So I'm seeing right here that right next to the wedding and servant, it's like, you guys need to work, if you guys work hard enough on this connection and make the right moves and make the right sacrifices, this connection could work, okay? So I see... I see somebody, I feel like it could be you, it could be your person. You cannot, I feel like you are really faithful to this, how you feel, or you are coming into terms and in how you feel. And I feel like you're going to like make some sort of move, or maybe your person is gonna do it, or it could be like, oh, the, it will give you like a sign or something that you actually are able to feel confident and be like, okay, I can talk to this person, right? And, um, and maybe I can like feel confident here to communicate with them. Um, let me see what kind of like signs this could be. Uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini. I feel I feel a lot of Gemini here. I feel um, let's see. I heard Justice. That's Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay. That's what Spirit just told me. And, yeah, an air sign, too. Air sign could be Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius also. There's an air sign here. But regardless of that, going back to the reading here, um, I feel like somebody is going to make the move and somebody is going to actually try their hardest to, to make this connection work because you both are missing one another. 
money and merchant right here i feel like you are a traveler right here pisces it could be that you uh your job or it's like you're in constant not need but like wanting to expand and just making more money and i feel that like you do travel travel a lot because of your job or because of like what you're seeking for but i feel like you're getting tired and you're like getting lonely and i feel like you're missing your person right here your friend in the reverse i feel like you don't understand what's the feeling or so but it's because you're deep down are missing your friend which is like this person that you have this strong connection with that you were not prepared for but i feel like um i feel you're gonna actually be when it comes to money you're gonna be really pretty pretty much a uh, stable and you're gonna be able to think and focus and love because right now i see you're really focused um or most of you focus in money but you're ignoring like you're ignoring how you feel but at the same time you're unable to let go with your friend of this person that you are not dating with and i feel for most of you you never dated this person because you never got the chance and with the room right here i feel you're gonna come back home i think you're gonna actually make a move because i feel like i feel like you miss this person like damn like makes me so mad let's take a look let's take a look let's see what else can i see about the outcome child okay somebody's getting pregnant here i keep seeing i saw yes pregnancy and i saw child you could be getting i feel like you might getting back to this person back in town you want to be careful if you sleep with this person because you're gonna get them pregnant there's a high chance of getting pregnant right here in the messenger in reverse yes you're gonna be you're going to message this person there's gonna be communication somebody is either or you're gonna message them or they're gonna message you but i see this is uh, it's you Pisces messaging them and gift in reverse yep I don't know why I see birthday like I don't know what's going on with birthdays here but I feel it's like somebody's birthday and this message or this need of message whoever you want to message is going to be around your birthday or your birthday month misfortune right here one more please wait wait one more gotta find the misfortune card journey yep somebody's coming back home and this is you pisces like, I, I feel you are the one who left the country or you are the one who left the state regardless of that um you are afraid of like messaging this person right i feel you're going to do it but you are really afraid of doing so because you feel like this person is not going to take the message like a gift. They're going to like reject it, you know, and that's why we got the misfortune right here. You feel like you're like that your person is not going to actually reply or that your person is going to be like, no, don't text me. And there's a lot of uh, this reminds me of the tower card. And uh, I see also I heard Aries also Aries. Um, just so you know, um. But I feel like you are afraid of like, again, this person not reach out, like not reaching back or ignoring your message. But with the letter and the journey right here, I don't see that happening. I see uh, this person opening your message. Uh, if you do text them or you do whatever it is, they're not going to reject you. I see them. If you message them, they're going to read your message and you most definitely are going to receive an answer or a reply and your journey. And I feel like you are going to come back home or come back to town i feel like this message or this person eventually is gonna make you go back where they live you know what i'm saying because i feel like i said you guys have a chance of ending up in marriage but you guys have to work on this a lot and it depends on that message pisces all of this connection depends on that that message if you send it or not so we got get more information for you pisces this is your angel's message improving health that's nice i also see healing like if you were uh sad or so it's um i see healing too and unlikely and ask for help from others right here um take it how it resonates i feel like sometimes you are thinking or you think that you can do everything on your own and it's not too bad to ask for help Pisces then we got reconsider and communicate clearly right here reconsider your options reconsider the situation okay 
in a year from now at the bottom of the deck i feel everything is gonna like fall back into like good positive changes within a year from now but i keep saying this pisces your situation with your love life will change with this person but it will depend on that message it's like this connection rests on your hands at this point and then you got number 20 Three right here this is the numbers that your angels and ancestors gave you please the only thing you need to do and I want to show it again is just to go online and pretty much look at the spiritual meaning of this number or you can go with the angels number and you will get extra guidance for you behind that number okay so thank you so much for sticking around please like and subscribe and I'll be back next week with more videos Bye.